Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to the episode of Transport Fever 2. Well, last episode, guys, we, <laughs> we truly expanded Madrid. We're going to the point where we now have our line with multiple trains on that goes all the way from Lisbon up to Amsterdam. And we also gave Madrid the ability as well to start getting the goods and the fuel that it requires to turn itself into a mega city, which the expansions are coming in thick and fast right now. Uh, last episode, I kind of added in, or well, sort the line out to have multiple kind of um, trains on. Now, I kind of did it in a system where we have two lines coming down, but they only use one platform on each station. Now, while that is kind of okay-ish, it's actually going against us very negatively because it, it's not allowing one in one out one in one out and and the waiting times of some of the platforms or some of the kind of directions just go through the roof so we're gonna actually switch that whole line up to amsterdam by using double platforms um on each of the lines again from lisbon all the way up to amsterdam so hopefully then we can kind of encourage the trains to collect more people a lot more quicker because with its current kind of system we're actually losing money. Well, we have done ever since we implemented it. If I check the line itself, the expenses have gone skyrocketing. It's only now that we're starting to make money, but the expenses are going to go up even higher again. It all depends on what's going on. But we kind of need to, this is one, this is our main route right now. I think this is the, the final puzzle. No, final piece of the puzzle. Um, that we can get together. Before we can start bringing all of the passengers all the way over to Budapest and set up the remainder of our plane routes. So guys, if you are enjoying this series, please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're new around here, then make sure you do subscribe so you're notified when the next episode does come out. But that is pretty much what we're going to be doing. Now, the end city, so Lisbon and Amsterdam, we're not going to have it a double platform because it doesn't make sense. It is the end station. So technically, we actually are going to start in Madrid uh, when we pull all this together now when i look at it i kind of need to get rid of the cargo here and replace it with a passenger one so hmm how will i do it? actually first things first then we'll actually set up all the the rail lines so it's a bit difficult to actually see where it comes in oh my goodness me have they updated the game all this stuff now looks really weird it does doesn't it so i'm gonna pause it because i'm now about to cause utter chaos and other stuffs <laughs> as I get all this together. So track line here goes to there. Well, bam. Okay, and then we are running parallel all the way down to here. So we kind of did get it set up in that sense, running parallel, and it crosses over there. But I think here we still have the ability to go straight, don't we? It's really hard to see when it's underground. But I think that's kind of okay on that side. So, oh my goodness me. Let me see if I can sort this out then. So, the lines then, which I still haven't renamed, guys. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me right now. Is it line seven? Yeah. So, when it comes from Lisbon, it goes back to Madrid. And then, can I set it up on... No, I can't. So, I'm, I'm truly are going to have to sort this out. So, if I get rid of you, delete, delete delete i'm so sorry so sorry guys please 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 love me <laughs> don't hate me right now so passenger platform two of those down and then the passenger buildings i right, can't that's a little bit too big why does that elevate so high is that an elevated one? Oh, these are elevated ones my bad my bad uh passenger buildings Okay, we'll go for a decent size one. If I can squeeze one in. You know what, we'll just go for this one. Cut our losses. There we go. So with that in there, when it goes from Lisbon back to Madrid, I can then choose it to go on platform four. So it's on this side. So just double checking right now. So the only time it should be waiting is at this point here, which is all good. And then when it approaches down to here, it then switches back into the single lane that we've got going on. Now we do have a second line that goes all the way up which we we don't utilize at the minute but we're going to right now we are going to and that will only happen 
when we get this all connected. So the double train line that comes all the way down then merges here. So if I delete it from there and delete that, so we've got the two points just here, I'm adding in a second station to this. So first need tracks, high speed ones. There we go. Platforms, passenger platform. Um, miscellaneous. So then get to the other side of the station. Why not? Why not? And then we sort out the rail line. So this one obviously connects to that one. And then this one connects to that one. So then back to the line. As it's hit Madrid up and it goes down to Bordeaux. Um, board, the first Bordeaux should be on the other side. So that should be number two, which it can't do. Right. But that's how what it should be because I need to set up a secondary line. Now, the thing is, right, when it goes this way, I need to be on this side of the train track. Going all the way through, which it would then pop up over here. It's quite complicated. <laughs> it is quite complicated, but if I delete all this... Okay, we'll delete it back to there. And this one is to here. And this one... Oh, I can't construct. It's not possible. I think it's the way because it kind of curves round. To there. So in terms of the line right now, again, it's not going to do what I want it to do. But the Paris, the first Paris one needs to switch lanes as well onto that one, which is not going to like. And that one is on the correct one. But it's not going to like it because it doesn't go all the way down because, again, the train line's all connected, all funky. And it's not fully connected on this side either. There we go. There we go. So how does that connection now look? So I've got to make sure first then. So I know we can go this way. It's got to come back this way. So I've got to make sure that this Paris one up here is on the right side. So is it number three it needs to be on? Wait, I'm confused. So this one here. So that Paris one is on number one. And this Paris number three. Two. Right? Am I missing a connection somewhere? That won't allow me to get it to together? Or is it just the whole system? I think it might just be the whole system. But then we get back over here then to to Brussels and I've got to do the same thing which is going to be a little bit tasty <laughs> to say the least so tracks there we go platforms okay we're all good there we're all good and then so what I've then got to do is delete, delete these I didn't need to delete it all the way back there. But it's because it goes under this really awkward bridge. So then that connects to here. Well, this just pretty much follows it all the way around. And connects to there. So then this line right now. The first Brussels needs to be on the other side. Okay. That's what it should do. And then i got to get them connected down to here. So, we actually get them connected. Where is the crossover? That's what i got to now figure out. The crossover happens just here. So, it, it actually comes in with two lanes. And then it splits here. So, if I just kind of delete this. Now, where is... The game is legit updated. And now all this stuff is kind of crazy. Right, we're going to bring this down to like 70 odd and rotate it to there so then tracks bam okay construction there's not possible so we go back a bit bam and now we have to set this line up all correctly so there is something wrong somewhere within it and we're going to get it rocking and rolling. So, number one, 
starts here. I don't know why it's chose start number six. Is that where it's meant to be? Number six. So then it goes to Brussels. And I think it might be down to the kind of the the, the, the waypoints now at this point. It comes down to Brussels and it should be on number two. Now that has truly got to be because of the signals and waypoints. So, and that is the case. Yeah, it is because of the signals and waypoints. So if I, I basically, I, I then got to flip the whole line around again. So Brussels would be on one. Paris would be on, okay, we'll do it step by step. So from there to Brussels on one. So I'm making it go this way on the right side. Paris would be one. Right, hold on. And then once we got to Paris, we're then into a Bordeaux on one. Then we get to Madrid. On four. Now, once you've gone to Madrid, we're into Lisbon, which should be normal. Right. And then back into Madrid. So, back in into Madrid at this point, then on. Bam! Is that correct? I feel like that's not correct. Because we should be coming down on the right side. I've messed this up somewhere, and I can't figure it out. Have I switched the wrong one up? It's hard to tell what side I'm meant to be on here. Right, right. Where's Madrid? There we go. So one. Ah, that should be on four. And then this Madrid here. Two. It should be on three. No, it's still messed up. I don't get it. How are you doing this to me, game? How are you legit doing this to me? <laughs> I'm so confused. I know it's all down to the signals and waypoints. I know it's I know it's that, but I've just selected you to be on the right side. So Madrid, right, M Madrid here needs to be four, right? I might keep selecting the wrong Madrid, and then this Madrid's three. There we go. Okay, figured it out. So, okay, so for the Madrid, it goes back up to Bordeaux. So this is where we're going to get it on the opposite side of the tracks. There we go, to Bordeaux on that side. And now we're on to Paris. Where's Paris? Just over here. So I want it to be... Let me try that again. So it is number two, but there's something stopping us from getting from Bordeaux down to there now that would be down to the fact that we have okay the signal is saying to go this way yeah so it, it, is, it is all going this way right yeah I gotta check each one to make sure it's all pointing the right direction yeah all right we get to here it should actually it should be okay What seems to be the issue? From Paris to Bordeaux. Cannot reach the next terminal. Can, uh, not combinable. Now, is that because... It's it's, do, it's down to the tracks. That's what it is. We have to upgrade the tracks. So, bam. Was that all I had to do? No. There's a little bit more than that, Sonia. There's a little bit more you gotta do than that. So, high speed upgrade. It's all blue. I haven't even got it connected here either. Like, just realizing. So it still can't get from, from Bordeaux to Paris. So from Bordeaux here, 
which is this one, it can't get to Paris. So it can't go in that direction for some reason. Right, I'm checking all my tracks right now. Have I ever seen a train using this route? I've got to make sure we're all connected because I reckon it's something to do that I've messed up. At some point, we're doing the underground section. If I delete this... We are connected over here, aren't we? Yeah, I'm going to delete that. I'm just going to get that last little bit in. Hmm. Right, okay. I, I can't quite figure this out. How it's not able to go from Bordeaux to Paris. And then to Brussels, obviously I want it on that side. But something is just not right and I can't quite figure out what it is. My and brain was... I was upgrading the wrong type of track. It's the high-speed rail track. There's me upgrading to, to add like one of them cantery things, whatever you want to call it. So is that now working? Right, still not working fully. But I knew exactly what it was all about right now. So double-checking all my lines right now. you got to add a little bit of electric, boys. So that means should mean to get over yeah now they get over here so they should die at this point which they do we figured it out guys Saniac using his big brain power right now <laughs> so that is then done okay that is then done at this point so i ain't gonna mess with that because it's all pretty much set up it does what it needs to do so by having the two platforms the two stations on, on each train station right now in each little section it allows them the trains to kind of come in and out, in and out, in and out, rather than waiting like, I could have like 10 trains waiting to enter Paris, but there's two trains trying to get from this side that kind of take priority. And then 10 trains are just sitting there, just kind of, you know, I'm, I'm paying expenses on them, they're not even doing anything. So I'm hoping now, this might, I don't know if it will kind of completely kill off the trains that I currently have on the lines because they're a little bit all over the place. Yeah, I, I knew straight away that was going to happen. So, what I need to do is line 7, manage the vehicles. I can't even tell them to go to the depot. Oh, I can. I mean, I don't know what depot they went to. Was it this depot? Okay, they went to this depot. <laughs> and then send them on line 7 right now. So... They should all now just skedaddle out. Where are they? Oh, wait, they're on the line. Oh, I'm so confused. They're here anyway, doing what they need to do. That's the main thing, right? So, as confusing as that was, I felt like my brain has slightly melted. We're back up and running. We're now officially back up and running. That's all I can say at this point. So it's actually got rid of all the passengers, but they'll slowly come back. And now I can have trains coming in and out, left, right, and center. Which is going to be amazing for us. So I'd like to see a station right now being utilized in two directions. Is it Madrid going to be the one? Oh, it might be. So the train is coming this way to go straight out that way. We have a train now about to arrive momentarily. There we go. And then we can really decipher them between the two um, platforms with the amount of passengers that we got. And there comes another one. Nice. So Madrid can have those expansions. It can be in the full swing of these expansions right now. Right, this is good. This is real good. So, I've got everything around this area anyway to kind of grow these Spanish and uh, Portuguese towns. It's looking like um, Paris right now has got a lot of people waiting at his bus route. 
So, line 27 is what I've got right now. Manage the line. No, not manage the line. I went to manage the vehicles. So, first things first, we're going to upgrade them to the latest version of the buses. Uh, which, we've currently got these ones on, which 21. These ones do 26. It's not a lot, but replace them right there, because every little helps. I'm going to buy five more of those vehicles. Put them on line 27. Really aid the amount of people using the passenger route there. Because a lot of people went to the bus, bus stops right now. And if, if they're waiting, they're not getting on the trains. That's my problem. Right, looks like the same thing is going to be needed right now for line 48. So, manage. We've already got the, the decent vehicles on it. We'll buy three more. There we go. Same thing going on over here right now for the bus Amsterdam route. So, again, we've got the good vehicles on it. Oh, no, we haven't. We've got these ones. All right, place it with those. Gonna buy a couple more vehicles anyway, buy three more. Get on that route. Oh good. Oh good. So more people are being moved around right now. Line seven is what we just got set up. It's gonna consistently have people being picked up and dropped off and exchanged. Line three is wow, that, that train's 26 years old. Let's manage that vehicle right now. So straight away, if I go to replace this. Uh, or do I go? I mean, I can go electric. It's not a problem, but it does mean I'm gonna have to upgrade the line that it's on again Not a problem But what do I go with these are really really expensive to kind of run It is isn't it I can go multiple units I like the idea of it because it already like has a load of speed really high has really high speed What's the cheapest one? It's gonna be this one, isn't it? All right if I add that and then get a bunch of passenger. So I've up the capacity right. Ooh, hang on, we've just got some new ones coming in. But are they expensive? I don't know where they are. Right, we'll just go with this. So straight away, I can't do anything with it. And it is this line here. It's the white line here. So if I now go through an upgrade. Oh, that took a while to upgrade, didn't it? Slowly just go through all of this. Um, where else? It's pretty much just like the uh, the tunnels that we built and the um, stations. But if I do it all, even though some of it we're not using, it's just there for if we, if we ever eventually upgrade it. All right, that's done, and then the final stop just there. So. We now go back. Where is that? Where would it be stored? Is it over here? No. Right, it's, it's, it's line free. I know that. I'm not going to find out where this vehicle is stored right now. Right, it's on the route. There we go. <laughs> so you can carry quite a few passengers. This is probably another route that at some point will probably, you know, benefit from having a secondary lane. But at the minute, it's only going to small-ish. I say small-ish. Small-ish towns. But a lot of these kind of um, Eastern Europe... Well, I say the Eastern side of Europe. I won't say Eastern European, but the Eastern side of Europe right now. It's not until I eventually upgrade Budapest where we can have like a solid route maybe starting in like, well again, starting in Amsterdam Rotterdam. You probably tear through to Berlin. 
Berlin down to Prague, down to Budapest, no, down to Vienna, to Budapest, to uh, Belgrade, uh, to Sofia, and then end in Istanbul. And then that will truly set up as, I mean, like, a, like the same as what we've done from Lisbon to Amsterdam, that same type of route. So we really like capitalizing all on it. So that line seven right now in terms of finances, for the first time right now, it's now making lots of profit because we have divided it into two platforms per station, which is really going to help us out. So like I said, the charts, they might be slightly plateauing a little bit right now, but they're going to expand even more. It's still growing. It's still growing. So yeah, Paris should be looking pretty good as well. With all these new buses doing all these new routes. Is that still growing quite nicely? Do you know what? That skyrocketed recently. And I'm not doing anything. I'm not even bringing any goods over right now. So where does that stand in the most populated um, cities that we have? It's third. And all of guys is the passenger route on it. Madrid's coming in hot and heavy right now. Um, but Amsterdam is purely taking over. Of course it is. Of course it is. So. Looking good. Looking very good. So we might be available at some point then to take a look at setting this route up. So let's figure out how we would approach doing it. So I'm going to want it to go into, into Vienna and into Prague because we just have to pick both of them up. But I want it to pass through Berlin. Now Berlin currently has a two station lane here which has goes straight into Underground Tunnel. Let's just quickly upgrade all this so it's in. Do you know what I didn't do? Oh, I didn't do that high speed on this one either. I forgot about the high speed. I've added in the, electric, the ability to have electric trains on it. But I did not touch the ability for them to be high speed rail. So the train is not even going to go maximum speed. This is a problem when you build an infrastructure like in the olden days <laughs> and you got to upgrade it to the new days. You got to spend some sweet cash money moolah getting it all together. Well, I've got to do it anyway because if I don't do it now, then I'm just going to have to do it in the at some point. So just kind of get it all in real quick. Right, is that all now done? No, there's little bits that we're missing. It's a right pain, isn't it? There we go. Right, I think we're all kind of done-ish. Yeah. Right, sweet. So, if even though Berlin's like the middle of this whole run, I think we should start with Berlin because it's the most built-up area, which goes into Amsterdam. Then every other city that we connected to, then going down to, all down into Istanbul, we haven't really done anything with it. So they're all they're not as established as these current cities are in the game. So. We currently have a route that brings it in from here using this line straight down to Berlin. Let's get this kind of separated so it's not using the same line. And we can do that by just simply tracks. If I, again, we're going to pause. Delete the connection it makes just here. And then bam, straight in. And then it's, what is it classed as? Is it the... Um, it's this train here. So Amsterdam here. When it's gone... No, not platform two. Platform three? Platform three instead. Okay. So platform three. So it's not connected to that one train line. So it hasn't got to wait for that one train comes down to here now we do want it to be set up in a double system so we'll then run 
another line with it. So if I just kind of end it there, because I've got to bring it up. We'll all run another line with it, but this one will merge... ...within... ...there, to that station. So then if I set the waypoints, so I've now got a waypoint there, so if I do one here... ...so they know exactly what they've got to do. And we'll also add the signal just there. For them to wait. Yeah, that's fine. I've got to sort the bridges out. Or oh, this little tunnel system here now. So I'll just quickly delete that. And then track construction. So spin it right around. I need to do it by three. If I place it here instead, and the connection there, connection there, connection there, all good. This is going to run with us. Ooh, interesting. Okay, 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 okay. And then obviously I want it to run. There's collisions everywhere now, isn't there? Right, we're going to have to do some workarounds right now, haven't we? Very interesting. So, get a, let a train to pass so I can kind of delete this little section. Oh no, I don't want to delete you. Wrong deletion. So, there's a second line. If I want that to... Ooh. Okay, that works fine. Okay, we've solved the matter of that now. It's just this little section here. I could cut it in, but I don't want to do that. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to destroy that very quickly. To get this to toot round to there. For then me to try and get this now connected back. Oh, I might have to uh, create a new bridge altogether. Let right, me come to about here. I oh, see it, it passes over there just fine. Oh, look at that! No issues. No issues, so you don't need the tissues. And that gets into Berlin pr pretty fine. So making sure that it's all high speed. Making sure. That it's all electric, apart from this little section just there. There we go, coming in hot and heavy. Same waypoints then. Now he doesn't cross over one another here anyway, so that's kind of okay. The line that we do have up and running right now does its job. And it'll eventually use a second lane as it goes all the way down so we've got it set up to berlin perfectly then it's every city after that is where we want to get it up and running so from berlin we're bringing it down to prague and then to vienna and then into budapest so we're pretty much then now creating a double line in each place now we are like i said like we're doing all of them we're going to cause mass destruction right now but we gotta we gotta crack a few eggs to make an omelet and we're gonna make a an omelet in prague right now So, they, they will rebuild. They will rebuild. It's for the greater good. These guys know it. They know it's for the greater good. So, building-wise... Uh, okay, we do passenger. So, set that up. We'll set it up just here. And we'll quickly now configure it. So, high speed here. Um, so passenger, not buildings, platforms. Passenger platform. We'll do a cargo platform just here, because you never know when we're going to want a cargo line in. So I place that just there. 
I do another passionate platform just on that side, just in case. It's only just solely to give us the ability to... Oh, can I really not squeeze anything in here? For real? This class is being way too close. Hmm. Okay, what if I didn't do passenger there and then did another cargo platform? Would this be close enough for the miscellaneous for the ramp steps? Yes. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. So then all I want to do then is get set up on the old track construction. And we'll bring the high speed out. So I bring it, if I bring that one out to about there, and then hopefully that is enough to kind of see too much of a curvature. Too much of a curvature, right? So... A bit more instead. I understand some of it's got to be chopped up. But they can still drive around and pass through. So in terms of roads... Well, actually, if I make this one straight first... Straight to there. We still have the ability to get through and around the train station, which is not a problem. I've got the extra line anyway, just in case I do go on to add in uh, a cargo line at some point. But we'll bring this down as well. Track construction. Spinsy it right round. There we go. And that should be standard. That should be nice and straight. It's just because of how long you had to make the, the, the platform to get this all connected in. And in terms of roads... Straight down just there. We're back in business. So Prague is done. Prague is good to go. I can put it back in play mode right now because there's no issues for me. So I can just get the, the line connected up straight to Berlin. That shouldn't be a problem. So I've got to get in underground. I'm going to make sure the whole thing's underground as well. So we're we going to Prague over in that direction. So all nice and underground. Alright, so I'm getting it connected all the way to over here. So it'll go fine on that one. It'll go fine on that one. So you shouldn't you shouldn't be able to see it, which is all good. Oh, that's gone messed up, hasn't it? I've just got to get this side right now. To follow us all the way around. Bam. And then all the way to there. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. It's decided that it wants to be underwater, well, in the water. Um, flat and smooth, flat. And. I'm going to delete this little section. Because I'm not quite sure what it's meant to be doing. Let's kind of sort that out slightly. Raise it a bit more.
Ta-da! Right, it's a weird little section, I know. But there we go. So that's now all connected from Berlin to Prague, which is pretty good. Then we've got to do it to Vienna, and then we've officially got to Budapest. And all that's left for me to do then is get Belgrad connected, Sofia connected, and then finally Istanbul. And then we're going to have an amazing line. Like a lot. This is probably going to be more used than our Amsterdam to Lisbon, just because there's so many more cities connected. There's one. There's only going to be one. In this one line on its own, we'll have like a separate line to like uh, Bucharest and uh, Tirana over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whereas right now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So an extra two cities are going to be thrown on top of this line. Plus this line as well has got so many more surrounding cities that we're going to get connected up to it. So it's going to be one hell of a train line. One how of a train line boys so if we were to bring it into vienna then so bearing in mind we pop out just here so it's gonna be a tight right hand turn down and in it's gonna be quite difficult to get into into vienna just because it's not a naturally built up kind of a section so i pause again and vienna is going to get destroyed so confirm the deletion there Confirm the deletion there because I know I'm going to cause so much destruction. Well, I know. I know I can make Vienna a much better place. So spin it right round. And this whole thing is, going, is, is happening on a hill as well, which is even more difficult. So if I place it, I mean, it's going to be on the outskirts, isn't it? Now, if I place it there, that's fine, because I can use a bus route. Again, don't underestimate the bus routes. Right? So then, if I just quickly configure it... So because there's nothing on this other side at the minute, I can create my own platforms. So there we go. Uh, let me do a cargo. Then tracks. Oh, that should have been these tracks. I'm going to have to upgrade them. Yeah, a lot of them rather than kind of deleting them. Passenger, just to kind of finish it all off. Sweet. So, we'll quickly do the smoothing in. Let's just rise the land really quickly. Make, make that a larger brush. See, that's the one I wanted. Flatten the land out around it. Then we're smoothing it all off. It allowed me to create my inclines and my tunnels a whole lot easier. So for the train line itself then, if I bring that out to say there. At what point can I get... If I bring that then down to here. Alright, that's where my tunnel is then going to be. So... Construction wise, just like that, and I'm hoping it still stays low enough. Which I don't know if it's going to, unless I elevate the whole train on over to this point. Hold on. This is going to be slightly annoying. So that's not connected, is it? So if I built that then, how does it look? It comes out of the world's ugliest tunnel. Is what it does. But if I keep it dropped down... Still don't, won't do what I want it to do. But if I rise it up. I can then slowly elevate it out of this how hole. But i got to find the right construction area for it.
So it will, oh, it will okay these little suspension bridges. Now, would that become a feature of um, Prague? These huge, I mean, I haven't done it in any of a, of a city, but it makes sense because of how hilly this area is. So where's comfortable there? Let's go for this bridge. It's a big bridge, isn't it? So keeping this going. I mean, it's not high enough to, to have suspension in it. But maybe it might do on this little section. It's different is, the, is what I'm going for, isn't it? It's, it's different. We're creating our very own Golden Gate Bridge. So there's a collision with the road, which I'm going to delete, and then we'll redo it. Now, my next issue is, I've now got to somehow get this underground. Which is actually not going to be a problem. Because we've got the, 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 the magic of tunnels. And then, straight down to there. Up to there. Straight down to here. And I don't know why for some reason I'm also choosing to add the cargo route on it. I have no idea why I'm choosing to do that, but it's there none the least. And now we have this nice little feature on the train. As you enter the suspension bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge of Prague. Through the little tunnel right there. Is, does that, is that tunnel then really needed? At this point. I mean, it would have been nice because I could have done the roads going across, but... Do you know what? Oh, too much slope. Do you know what? It would have been better to have it on. And now I feel like I've... Oh, no. We're, we're still okay. Because I can get the road. I could have got the road crossing over. How high is that? I don't know why I've even done it like that, but there you go. There you go. I amaze even me. So if I did this road here, I should then be able to configure the miscellaneous, there we go, slopes to get in. So the height differential right now is ridiculous. So, get rid of you. Actually, bring this a little bit further down. It'd be nice to curve this road instead, wouldn't it? Another suspension bridge. The suspension bridges of Prague. Do you know what? Yeah. So many suspen- Not of Prague, sorry. Of Vienna. Where are we getting Prague from? I think it's because I've just done Prague. The suspension bridges of Vienna. Alright, there we go. Now, there's no way in how I am going to be able to create a tunnel. But I could do if I went down below. I'm going to okay that. Now look at that for infrastructure, guys. Again, suspension. So it's got to go to here. But that is one hell of an underpass. <laughs> I, honestly, guys, I don't know what I'm doing to Vienna. I don't know what I'm doing to Vienna right now, but I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm going all suspension-y. Actually, let me kill that off. We'll bring this road up. There's one. Okay, yeah, the height differential is ridiculous there. Bam. 
Can I delete this and re-add it back in? Bam. Well, there's steel bridges, not suspension bridges. And then we'll leave that one there as the, as the original bridge. I don't know what I've done to Vienna, guys. I don't know what I've done to it. But I like it. I do like it. So leave me alone. <laughs> that is a monstrosity. But at the same time, look at the view as you're on the train coming in to Old Town Vienna. It's a sight to, it's a sight to see, isn't it, guys? It's a sight to see right now. So then all I've got to do then is get them connected up because the station's already there. We have a cargo station. Now the cargo station's on the other side of the tracks on this one. So should I reconfigure the layout of this? I think I need to. Yeah. So the all back. Right. Hold on. So cargo platforms. So cargo goes there. Tracks. Bam, 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 bam. Platforms. So it's a little bit the other way around right now than what I've done in the past. But that works wonders. And then passenger buildings. All connected there. Platforms. Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous works there fine. Cargo building. Too big. Way too big. Passenger buildings. Way too big. But that one there works fine so we're all still connected. We're still back to our usual self. Okay. So let me see if I can get this just to now to kind of work. So I've got to get it connected to the line over there. So if I brought this around here, remembering that it's got to be still lowered. Alright, so. Are we not still being lowered? Or do I make it rise and... Do you know what? I feel like I want to make it rise up. Alright, bring it to there. And then we'll make all these train lines right now come to the same destination. Which is difficult to do when you're trying to get it all to kind of connect in. Let me cancel that. There we go. That's better. Took a hot minute, didn't it? Oh. So now we're all on the same level playing field. And it allows me to then add in the suspension bridge. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. Let me see what I can do here. So if I brought this out and it should be coming down a bit to there. I don't know if it can connect to over here, but look at that. And then... <gasps> please tell me you're going to work. Alright, bring you to there. Again, this is what Vienna is going to be known for. I know it's not in real life, but it is in this game. Steel bridges. And a little bit of suspension. I mean, once Vienna is, like, fully populated and, like, completely built up, just imagine what it's going to look like in the long run. <laughs> this is crazy. But as, as of right now, then, without me going any further, I don't know why, I don't know why, but I, I just kind of like the idea of it. This is probably a highlight that I've built. <laughs> it's just so weird. But it allows them to cross over to the other side of the road, if needs be. I don't know if they ever would, if they ever want to. But now I'll make this slope down and go under and connect to there. Uh, but we have now a double line from Amsterdam to Rotterdam to Berlin to Prague to Vienna to Budapest. Now that is one, two, three, four, five. That's only one city away right now of the current route we've got going on over there. 
So back into play mode then. So next episode, we'll take the route then from Budapest to Belgrade, to Sofia, and then to Istanbul. And then we can finally get a passenger line all up and running on it. And then we're good to go. We can then finally have the airport doing its run. And then... What we'll probably end up doing is one major airport in the United Kingdom and then we'll do a bunch of small airports from some of the satellite towns. So like Athens can have like a nice little airport nearby and all that kind of jazz. So I'm really looking forward to it. So until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye.